discuss the refurbishment and extension of St Finian's Community College. Thanks very much, Count Coral. And I have to say, Minister, there's something shocking, I suppose, that this planned refurbishment and extension was planned before my daughter went to that school. She's now in her second year in college, and many of the issues are probably as bad as they were, if not actually considerably worse. And just before Christmas, I got a, a letter from transition year students who are taking a particular interest where they described that several cl classrooms do not have windows, several windows leak in bad weather, which has damaged student work and ICT equipment. The roof leaks in wet weather, causing pools of water on the floor, which is a health and safety risk. Problems with ventilation in parts of the school, which limits the work in the science lab and home economics kitchens. Some classes don't have access to emergency exits, which is not in line with safety regulations. There's not enough space to accommodate 660 people. Furthermore, it's no Wi-Fi in the classrooms, which affects teaching and learning. This is a school in Dublin. In 2019, a DESH school, which is supposed to have extra resources and benefits. And when I raised some of these issues with the Minister, I was utterly shocked, actually, that the answer was they were unaware of the scale of these problems in the school. And obviously, subsequent to that, then, students put up pictures of vegetation growing inside some of the classrooms. And, uh, you know, even then... The response of the Minister was, well, look, it's not exactly possible to say when the project will proceed to tender, at least until the pre-qualification process has been completed. Now, the problem with that is that in 2010, this project was initiated. In 2015, after a few years of delay, the planning permission was granted. There were certain delays due to a fire set and ESB issues, issues which were overcome over two years ago. Uh, it was expected to go to tender over two years ago, expected to bring, begin work then. A whole year and a half went by, no progress, and now we have this limbo in existence. In September 2018, the uh, ETB was asked what, where was the planning uh, process at, what was going on. Uh, they were told that it was at the pre-qualification stage for appointment contractors, that this had been sent into the department and had been returned with no explanation. Now, I want to know who was responsible for that, because we can't have the two sides saying completely different things, and that is what's happening. I mean, basically, in January 2019, still no movement. It appears from the Minister's answers to me that the Department is using the pre-qualification process as an excuse not to proceed with the development, but the ETB is saying that this has been completed and that it's with the department, but the minister says it's with the ETB. Now, both sides can't be right. Um, the manager of the, of, uh, the buildings in, in the ETB communicated with the principal and said that the, uh, the ETB had completed the documentation, sent it to the department to approve for tender, and had done that since December 2016 and that the, de uh, that the department had sent it back stating to be pre-qualified they wrote back and said, what do you want? And nothing further happened. Now, this is beginning to make the Children's Hospital look well managed at this stage. I just don't get it. And it seems to be the answer in all of the education questions that we answer. Either it falls down between the council and the department or the department and the ETB. Somebody somewhere has to do it. This project is over nine years old. The planning permission is nearly about to nearly run out in the next year if it isn't delivered upon. And now we've plans of new schools being promised left, right and centre and up the road. Meanwhile, Hundreds of kids are in this school in the type of conditions that I've described in Dublin 2019. Thank you. Minister, four minutes. Thank you very much. And I'm taking this for Minister McHugh. He's in the Shannon at present. So I would like to thank the Deputy for raising this matter as it gives Minister McHugh the opportunity to outline to the House the current position regarding the building project to provide improved accommodation for St Finian's Community School, Community College in Swords, County Dublin. As the Deputy may be aware, and I'm sure you are aware actually Deputy, the project to which you to refer to is a major devolved building project to deliver a critical standalone extension at St Finian's Community College in Swords, County Dublin. 
This extension will be just over 4,000 metres squared in area and will include a two-classroom SEN base. Responsibility for delivering the project has been devolved, as you said, to the Dublin and Dunleary Education and Training Board. Um, and training board. A service level agreement, an SLA, is in place between the Department and, Dunleary, and Dublin Dunleary ETB in, in respect of this project. This agreement outlines the roles and the responsibilities for each of the parties in the delivery of education projects. It is a central tenet of dev dev devolution that responsibility for the delivery of these projects within certain agreed parameters as laid down in the SLA rests with, with Dublin Dunleary ETB. In that respect, Dublin Dunleary ETB has appointed a design team to design the accommodation being provided and to bring the project through the tender and construction phases. The detailed design stage for St Finian's Community College project is almost complete. Planning and other statutory permissions have been obtained in that respect. Officials in the department have been liaising with Dublin and Leary ETB in recent weeks with a view to resolving some of the other issues that have, have arisen with respect to this stage of the project. Indeed, they discussed the matter at a recent meeting. The primary issue relates to the process for the pre-qualification of contractors to deliver the project. I am pleased to inform the Deputy that these issues have been worked through and that Dublin and Leary ETB is now proceeding with its pre-qualification process. Once this pre-qualification process is completed, the project will move to the next stage. This involves the preparations and the issue of tender documents and the appointment of contractors to complete the project. This process will be carried out by Dublin Dunleary ETB and its design team. I acknowledge that the delivery of this project has taken longer than originally envisaged. This was the result of a number of issues which arose with respect to this project and which required time to resolve. These issues included delays in obtaining statutory consents from the local authority and delays in the finalisation of the detailed design process up to this point. While this process has not yet been completed, I want to assure the Deputy and this House that there is now a clear path to completion of this stage and towards progression to the next stage. That is to say that the project is now moving into a space where it can quickly progress uh, the pre-qualification of contractors and therefore move on to the tender and construction phases. Thank you. You'll have, when, a, you'll have, two, I'm further, sorry, yeah. you'll have two further minutes. Okay. Uh, Deputy Daly. Thanks, Kim Corla. And I know the Minister isn't the Minister responsible for this, but we have a, a real problem here. And I suppose what I'm trying to get to is, when is anybody ever going to be held to account? I mean, we have the primitive conditions, and that's what they are, totally unacceptable conditions that our young people are expected to be educated in presently at the moment. It's, it's, in, it's intolerable. And you see, I'm supposed to accept now a response that says, well, the Minister seems to be saying, well, don't blame us, it's the ETB's fault, because the service level agreement there, it was their fault. Uh, if that's true, then who is going to make them pay, if you like, for the debacle that this situation is, because it is a debacle. And if it's their fault, someone has to be held to account. The Minister says the detailed design is almost complete. I'm sorry, but I can't celebrate because the design team started in February 2013 and the final design proposal was completed two years later in 2015. So me being told in 2019 that it's nearly complete actually isn't any solace at all. It's a cause for great concern. We're told that the pre-qualification, um, um, the process of pre-qualification and that that issue was at stake. But the ETB say that they had done their bit 
in 2016 on that. So why is that still outstanding? And can anybody tell me that? Whose fault is it that that's still outstanding? If they were doing it back in 2016, how can I be assured now that it is finally sorted? And the Minister might shed some light on what these other issues are that has arisen. Because again, that's a bit of a problem as well, is that here we are nine years on after the thing had been given the nod, saying now there are other issues coming to the fore. And based on all of the stages that you've outlined, between tenders and contractors and all the rest, you're probably talking about another two years before anything will even start here. And that, that just cannot be like. You'll have whole generations going through this school. There are kids there now whose parents and grandparents have been through it almost in the same condition. And I, I can't have that without somebody being held accountable for that. The Minister's final okay, response. So I'll try and answer the, your last no, questions no. first. So uh, just to say that there was design issues and they, they still, um, there are, sorry, that also needs to be considered. This requires the design team to review the project to ensure compliance with new regulations and that those regulations are the near zero energy building regulations. Uh, Dunleary, Dublin, uh, ETB have carried out a pre-qualification process uh, they did that at an earlier stage of the project. However, for a number of reasons, primarily of a, leg of a legal nature, it has been decided to proceed with a fresh new pre-qualification process. When DL now I'm going back to my original um, statement. When Dublin, Dunleary, LE, uh, ETB and its design team was completed, the tender had completed the tender process, a tender report will be submitted to the department with the recommendation for the award of the construction contract to the most economically advantageous tender submitted. The department will examine the tender report and accompanying recommendations, following which the intention is that a contract will be awarded with the contractor moving onto the site shortly thereafter. Uh, Minister McHugh wants to give assurances that the department is committed to moving this project as quickly as possible. And I can confirm, and Minister McHugh can confirm, that the funding has been set aside to progress the building.